Hi, I'm Alex Vasudin and this tutorial is about 360 degree video stabilization and compositing nuclear explosion in 360 with Skybox plugin. We will add explosion near the horizon, a flash of light and radioactive particles that are eating away footage at the end. First of all, I'm creating a new composition named Main. So here what we will do, it's Barcelona City. Let's cut necessary fragments choosing start and end of work area and click trim comp to work area. It's shaky after color of the banner, so let's stabilize it first. I'm adding skybox converter and choosing cube map. Now pre-composing this layer and creating a new null object. I'll track one point right at the bottom of the camera. Track point should be some contrast area which can be seen throughout the video. It's Sagrada Familia from 250 meters. Choose null object as a target for a tracking data and click analyze forward. Apply it X and Y. Now our tracking data is in the position of null object and we don't need this anymore. And add skybox converter one more time. It converts panorama back to equirectangular. Let's click on position and move all tracking data to zero at the beginning. And now the most interesting, hold alt and click stopwatch icon near Z axis. We link this value to the x-axis of null object, but our tracking data is in pixels, so we need to convert the value into degrees. Multiply on minus 360 and divide on 1920. Same thing with x-axis. It links to null's y. I'm using 1920 cause it's width of my footage and my composition. but our camera moves this direction. So to compensate it, let's add plus value and set keyframe at the beginning. Then move to the end and set the value into correct position. Now it's absolutely steady, but let's copy original footage and turn off cube. There are some blurry areas here. They appear cause of double transformation, so let's copy skybox with expressions from cube composition to original footage and turn cube off again. In this pre-comp we can add some explosion and smoke near the horizon. I have two footages from the Action Essentials. Let's add it to comp and move two seconds forward. Downscale both and move to the right position. Let's drop smoke down the explosion and downscale explosion more. Now rotate a little bit both layers. and maybe move smoke several frames. OK. Now add some tint on both layers. Explosion is far away and black color seems more gray and blue cause of atmosphere. So we map it to pale blue. I think it's OK. We can turn off background and go back to the main comp. Rise our comp with explosion above the footage and turn it on. Let's add a new adjustment layer with curves and exposure. And 
and set keyframes at the beginning of the explosion and several seconds after. It looks fine. Now I want to add some color correction, boost red, decrease blue and green a little. And place it upper, I think. And here the smoke moves out of frame, so let's just cut it here. Now we are going to make some displacement, so precompose all layers, explosion, and add another skybox converter. Now find the beginning of the explosion and split several seconds from the layer. And again, you can use Ctrl Shift D. Add set channels on it and duplicate it two times. Now we're choosing only one channel on each of three layers. First red on and of course blending mode should be add. Second green on and third is blue on. Now we have three separate channels on three separate layers and we can move them separately all axis. You can use this trick to make 3D glasses look, for example. Now let's open skybox effect here. I want them wiggle a little bit, so type wiggle 8, 1. And copy it to the other axis. Now copy whole skybox plugin to the other channels. So looks pretty good. And let's add wiggle several seconds after. Split layer again and copy skybox with the wiggle expressions to it. Now I want to add some basic particles flying from the explosion to the camera. Create a square comp named particles. Make a new solid particles and add trap code particular or some other particle emitting plugin. Move emitter far away in Z. I increase particles in sec and velocity random. Now life seconds and decrease size. Make it yellow, maybe. Now in air add some wind from that. Less particles. And maybe add some continuous limit. Color from main. Opacity increases our life. And more secondary particles. Less size, less opacity. Maybe add some life seconds. Okay. Now I want them stop at the end. So create a keyframe for particle sec and several seconds after change it to zero. Okay. 
and the morning meeting. So we are ready to create 360 view. Go in File, Scripts, Skybox Creator and just click Generate Skybox Output. It's equirectangular as you see. Now add in this output in main comp and move it little. The last part is to create fade out by spots with rough edges. So let's create a new square comp named Turbulence. OK. And solid Turbulent with Turbulent Noise on it. Increase Contrast. I want it to move slowly, so hold Alt and click Stopwatch near Evolution option and type Time 10. Maybe scale it a little and create keyframe animation from black to white. First frame absolutely black and the last absolutely white. Now add offset and move edges a little bit. Our aim is to make the edge smoother, so I pre-compose the layer and use stamp tool, or it can be liquify. I use areas from both sides of the edge to hide it. This will give us whole 360 seamless texture after creating a panorama. Don't forget to stretch clone tool to the whole comb. OK. To generate 360 output, choose current composition and click generate. So the result is in folder Turbulent Skybox output and we are ready to add it in the main comp. Now pre-compose all in main as Turbluma and add Turbulence output. Find the end of transition. It should be cut here, I think and set the mate of Turbluma as Luma inverted mate. That's it. So moving it at the end and we finished. Let's see the resulting sphere with colorized player. Looks great. So thanks for watching. For more information about Skybox plugin, please visit metal.com and my works are at vrvr.pro.